Hello everyone, how's it going? Henry is back and welcome to another exciting tutorial that is really important for pilots in both sim and in real life. Let's get to it. How to calculate weight and balance. Let's get into it. All right, so what is weight and balance and why do we need to know it before flying? So just like so many other things in life, airplanes can only carry a certain amount of weight. Your max takeoff weight or MTO is the amount of weight you can have on your aircraft for takeoff or else you have so much weight you don't have enough lift to counteract it so you are stuck on the ground all right so it's important to know your max weight and whatnot the aircraft should also be in balance so the other part of weight and balance is balance too much weight in the aft of the aircraft the nose will tend to pitch up and vice versa too much near the front of the aircraft it will pitch down inherently so Again, it is important to have the weight balanced throughout the aircraft, hence why we call it weight and balance. Just like this avocado, it's important to know the weight of it and balance it. All right, so how do we calculate weight and balance for aircraft? Let's find out. And here we go. So today we're using a DA-40 as an example, but this applies to pretty much every airplane. Insert asterisks here. Um, so on our left, let me get my little pointer out. All right, so on the left here, we can kind of see a little diagram of a DA-40. These little measurements, it's going to be kind of hard because I copied it from the manual, um, are something called an arm. So pretty much if you draw this little line throughout the airplane, you can kind of dimly see it. It might be a little bit easier if I just kind of like draw a really horrible line here in red. Um, there you go. This is the arm of the aircraft and we see different measurements. So for example, we see um, like the engine, so like oil, things like that. There's a little line here that says 39.4 inches. This is the arm. If we go back, front seats, you have 90.6. This is the arm of the front seats. These different points will make sense in a second, but pretty much this is a measurement of where things are on the datum plane. All right, so let's go over to this one now on the right, and this is our final form, our final form. Um, this is where we're gonna plot once we figure out our numbers on our little sheet here. So again, if center of gravity is here and here for takeoff and landing, this is good. It's within this little box here. If our numbers lay outside of the box, that means we can't fly because it's gonna be out of weight and balance. So let's see what I mean on this next sheet, all right? So before we go ahead, let's take note of standard weights at least here in Canada anyways, I'm not sure about a KO. But what standard weights are, is that for a large airplane, so an airliner, you obviously can't find everyone's weight. You don't step on a scale and they don't say, oh, okay, 900 pounds here or whatever. You use something called standard weights. So again, as you can see here for males, uh, 12 years and up, 206. This is to be 200 pounds, but people are getting larger or more muscular. That's more muscular. So 206 pounds for a male, um, and then in winter, you're 212 because, of course, more clothing and whatnot. Females, a little bit less lighter things, kids, infants, etc. All right. So these are something called standard weights. Pretty cool. Um, for smaller aircraft, according to the Canadian Air Regulations or CARS, um, you actually use real weights. So uh, that's what we're going to be doing today in our next little sheet here. All right. Calculations. Boop. If you have ever taken a ground school course, flown, etc., you've probably seen a similar table. So this is how we are going to calculate our weight and balance for today. All right, I'm going to get out a highlighter so we can still see, see things here. Lovely. All right, so let's get started on our calculations. So our first row here, now every aircraft in their operations manual has a similar kind of table. Let's go over and see how we use this. So. We have our little titles here. So let's start off with the licensed empty weight. So the empty weight of the airplane, there are no passengers, no fuel, no baggage, etc. I know I have a lot of baggage in my life. <laughs> so anyways, this is the weight. So once you get your aircraft or the aircraft weighed on the scale in the factory, that's how much it weighs. All right. Again, these are all um, random weights. I kind of use semi-realistic. So don't actually use these for real flying. All right, so this is the weight. This is how much the plane weighs empty. The next bit, if you remember two slides or whatever ago, this is the arm. I'll tell you how to get the moment in a second and, of course, your standard CAG. So this is where the center of gravity is being empty. All right, so really important thing to note is to get these numbers. You don't 
do anything crazy, all right? Because we're gonna be calculating this throughout the table. So the way you get your moment is that you take your weight, multiply it by your arm, all right? So if you multiply these two numbers, you're gonna get around here, this moment, and to get the center of gravity, so this last one here, you divide, well, let's see if we can get a better, uh, that's good enough. You divide by the uh, weight category. So you take this number, the moment, and you divide it by the weight. So you take this big number, divide it by this smaller number, and you get this, 96. All right, so 96 inches, so on our datum plane, is where the center of gravity is empty. Cool. All right, so fairly basic math, we can do it. So let's do it with all the others then. So our front seats, let's say if um, total, so you can have both people, but let's say if it's only one person, they weigh 195. Your arm from that sheet before, this doesn't change. So this is pre-measured with the aircraft. If we multiply 90.6 by 195 pounds, we get a wonderful moment, 17,667. All right, let's say if we don't have anyone in the back seats, you don't have to worry about multiplying because it's just going to equal zero. Same with baggage. Let's say if you don't have any bricks or anything in the back, zero. We don't have to worry about that. So this brings us down to something called zero fuel weight. To get zero fuel weight, you simply take your empty weight, add 195 or whatever the others are, and then you get this number here. This is your zero fuel weight, Z or ZFW, all right, 1,924.45 pounds. This is how much everything weighs so far without fuel, hence zero fuel weight. Cool. We get the moment by adding everything together in the moment column. So we have the this number, add this number, and all these numbers if they exist, into this one, and this is our total moment we have so far, which is actually not that bad, all right? So an important note is to make sure your zero fuel weight is below max zero fuel weight. So certain aircraft have different weights. So again, your max takeoff, your max landing. So yeah, so pr pr pretty much we uh, we would check, make sure that this number, 19,000, is below the max fuel weight, and it is. So cool. So again, just like up here, we get 95.73 by taking this number, Divide it by 1,924.45, and then you get 95.73. So, without any fuel in the aircraft, this is our center of gravity, 95.73. All right. So, now the fun part, fuel loading. So, we have our zero fuel weight. Let's add to that weight and add fuel. So, one gallon of aviation, so like Avgas, is around six pounds. That's kind of like the standard weight. Um, so, let's say if we have like around 50 gallons or something in the tanks, Turns out to be uh, three. <laughs> that's a lot of weight. Three hundred pounds of fuel. All right, full tanks. This is one hundred three point five. So again, that arm doesn't change. This is from the aircraft itself. And of course, doing our multiplication, we get thirty one thousand fifty. Cool. So it's just like before, we do some addition. So the takeoff weight is our zero fuel weight plus our fuel loading weight. Boom. We get two thousand two hundred twenty four point four five. And just like before, make sure that we are below that specified MTO, so your max takeoff weight. So again, you don't want to take off uh, overweight or else you might not get off the ground. And just like before, you get the moment by taking the 18 mark, you add it to this guy, and then that equals this. All right, so it's, if we do our standard division, so take the 21, 5180.33 divided by this weight here, we get 96.73. So you can see how the um, the center of gravity has already changed just by adding a little bit of fuel, which is really interesting. So it's actually kind of come back towards the uh, 96 number there. So our next bit here is fuel required. So how much fuel are we gonna burn? So this is where you calculate, oh, let's say if I burn six gallons or so an hour, we're up there for three hours, etc. Uh, how much are you going to burn? So uh, let's see if we calculate. Um, we're going to burn 36 pounds of fuel. All right. So uh, 
your standard uh, moment here, of course, 103.5. This doesn't change. As you notice, it's the same one from up here because it's the same location. Um, we just have this minus sign because we're going to be taking off, right? Because this is weight we don't have anymore. We've burned it off. So during our standard uh, multiplication here, we get our moment here. Um, so that's a minus sign, remember. And of course, our landing weight, basic math, is our takeoff weight minus the stuff we're going to burn in the air, right? So we basically just take our weight here. We subtract 36, which gets us a nice landing weight of 21,000. <laughs> 21,000, that's a lot. 2,188.45 pounds, all right? Um, again, make sure that is below max landing weight or else you might get damage the gear. And of course, up here, we do another subtraction and we get 21, 14, 5, 4.33. Last but not least, you, of course, divide by your first number, first weight here, and we can get 96.62. So that is our final center of gravity when we are going to be landing. All right. Um, and of course, there's other weights too. So again, max ramp weight. So pretty much how much you can have on the ramp. So it's good to know. Uh, your max weights because again you couldn't be over your max takeoff weight on the ground if you're going to be using like a gallon of fuel taxiing takeoff etc just make sure you use that before you take off so anyways now that we have our big numbers here so i'm going to circle these two 96 oh come on 96.73 96.62 all right and our two weights landing weight takeoff weight what we can do now is that we can go forward into our wonderful science doing that this table from before so as you know as long as we're in the box here we are pretty much safe and good to fly so let's look at our two numbers again so we have 96.73 let's find that number uh, let's say if it's around here so 96.73, right around here. And then if we go back, the weight was 2224. All right, so 22, two, let's say around here, all right? So again, on the bottom, we have our center of gravity position in inches, and on our left, I was looking at our flight mass. So again, so this is how much we uh, generally weigh. That's our 2 2 number. And down here, our 90 number was around here. So you find it, and here it is for takeoff. All right, I'm just going to put a little T O. This is where we are for takeoff. And for landing, 96.62. All right, just want to make sure. Yep, so 96.62. Let's see if that's around here. And the weight was 21.88. All right, so cool. Uh, let's say if that's around like here-ish. So if we guide those two numbers back up again, I'll put LDG for landing. You can see this line right here. So we're safe. So both takeoff and landing, we're still going to be in the safe zone here. We're going to be within our little box. So we're going to be in weight and bounce the whole time. Um, very often some people do just like if they go down to zero fuel. So, uh, let's say if we have like do our entire calculation again and we take off all our fuel or if we just don't even add anything, um, let's say if we run all the way down to zero, it'll be down here. So the entire movement of the aircraft from full tanks, to zero tanks is safe in our box here. So that's, that's a quick tutorial of how to uh, do a basic um, weight and balance with an aircraft, right? Again, it's important to do it every time you fly because uh, uh, all aircraft are different. Every flight is different. It's important to know how much you weigh, how much fuel you're going to spend, etc. All right. And uh, and again, just, just to add to that too, like, again, this is just a basic tutorial on how to do things. Every plane is different. Um, there Also with aircraft, you can uh, subtract on this sheet uh, oil nut in here right so like let's say if your plane uses six quarts of oil um but you only have five quarts of oil in so you might have to take off like one or two pounds for an exact center of gravity but today this 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 was all just kind of like nice and basic check your aircraft operator manual for sure check the uh, poh 
Um, but that's that's basically how you do basic weight and balance. The nice thing these days is that we have iPads, poor flight, etc. So everything's done digitally. So it's a big check mark. Um, so yeah, let me know if this has helped you guys. Uh, please like and sub if this has helped you at all. And again, the comments are open. Please let us know what you think. If you have any questions, um, if you have any stories with weight and bounce, any exciting things going on, let us know below. But as always, fly safe, happy landings, and thank you again for watching this tutorial. I hope it helped you guys out. And as always, have a great day. See you later. And while waiting to uh, like and subscribe here, I'm going to draw a really awesome airplane. Oh, look at that. So, so skilled. Oh, can't forget the gear. Boop. <laughs> this, yeah, okay. There. I don't know how to race with this. So, okay, that's all you get. Cheers.